back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Mary Kate, and today I finally, finally, finally got to filming an updated what's on my iPhone. You guys have been requesting this so much. This is my most requested video, so I'm so excited to finally show you guys what is on my iPhone. So I do have an iPhone 11 Pro Max, so it's a little bit older. Um, not like that much older, but I still am rocking with it. You guys are very curious to what's on it. So here I am sharing it with you guys. So I'm not even gonna waste any time. We're just gonna go straight into it. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. If you guys are wondering why I'm on the floor right now, it's because this is my ceramic floor, but I thought that it would be a nice background. It's still plain, but kind of bougie. So that is why I'm sitting on the floor. So this is my iPhone. It's the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, I think this is the space gray color. Collect me if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I think this is space gray. And this is my new phone case. I got it from Winners. It's by Kate Spade, and I really like the diamonds because they are like protruded. I think that's the word. So they kind of stick out. You guys can like hear that. Um, so I really like the feeling. It just kind of feels like a little three dimensional. It just feels really. I don't know, high end. Um, so this is my case and I like the white around as well. And I love cases that kind of go like over the screen. So it's like a bit more protective. So let's just get right into the video. You guys liked this format of filming the last few times I did a what's on my iPhone. So I will do the same thing for this time. So this is my background. It's a picture of Gucci and I a year ago when he was like 10 weeks old when I first got him. Um, and most of the time I do have like a motivational quote or something in um, my lock screen, but for today I put this one. Oh, there he is right now. Hi, we're talking about you. Yeah, we're talking about you. Um, so I will show you guys some examples of different lock screens that I put sometimes. It's usually at the beginning of the month and it will say something like um, new month, new goals or something like motivational, like keep going or things like that. So that is what I usually put just so that when I wake up, I look at my phone and I kind of have a reason to keep going. And then when I unlock it, I also have a picture of Gucci. So this is just Gucci sleeping. Um, and then you guys can notice that I actually don't have multiple pages. So there's no little dots here. I only have one page and then I have all the apps here. So I find this very minimalist. Um, I don't like clutter, especially on my phone. I just like it to be very straightforward, um, a very clean looking. So that is why I only have this page and then at the bottom here if someone can figure out how to get this off i don't think you can but if you have no apps here you can't get this box off so i had to fill it with something because i just didn't like the empty box so i put the three icons that obviously match in color and that i use the most often to talk to people so that is why those are there and then i have my page of apps here and these are just categorized by what the phone thinks of these apps so i'm gonna skip suggested and recently added obviously because i will go through each category so let's start off with the social so i have facebook facetime house party you guys can find me on there at brunette princess it is linked in my description instagram is down as we speak but this is my instagram so if you guys want to follow me i'm at brunette princess then we have obviously text messages, messenger for Facebook, uh, phone, Popple. I am an ambassador for Popple. So if you guys are looking for a really good discount, use my code Amanicate Tracy and you get 20% off. That is all in my description. So check it out if you're interested. Skype, I have not used in so long. Snapchat, you can find me on there if you want to add me. This is my little icon, unbothered and texting. <laughs> so that is my Snapchat, Amanda Kate Tracy, just my full name. TikTok, you can find me on there as at Brunette Princess. I am starting to be more active on TikTok. So hopefully you guys see that. Um, and I did put a little Q&A section so you can ask me some questions, give me some video ideas. Twitter, I don't really use, but it's at Amanda Kate Tracy if you're interested. And I have a WhatsApp. Next category is utilities. So these are usually the ones that come with the phone. So App Store Authenticator is for my double authenticated passwords for like YouTube and stuff like that. Bitmoji, I think everybody knows what that is. Calculator, Google Chrome, Clock. I set all my alarms on there, obviously. Color widgets is when I used to do my phone like that. Um, I haven't done it in a little while, but if you're interested in how I used to do my phone, I do have uh, my latest 
what's on my iPhone. I did a Bratz theme and I used color widgets. Compass is obviously a compass. Find my iPhone. This is for my television. So my Helix. Um, it's This is like the Wi-Fi part and then I also have the TV part. Home is just like what comes with the phone. This is my hydro. Magnifier measure comes with the phone. Rogers is for my phone bill. <laughs> Safari settings. This is for the vaccine code, voice memo, and the Apple Watch app. And then in my creativity, I have a bazaar. This is how I do all my thumbnails. If you guys wanted me to show you guys how I do my thumbnails, definitely leave me a comment um, letting me know because I would be happy to show you. It's very, very easy and I love this app with all my heart. <laughs> camera, obviously camera. Clips comes with the phone. Eraser I use when I do my thumbnails to erase uh, some of the background or to make different things stand out so I can like crop something and then put it on top of a picture. Facetune, I think everybody knows what Facetune is. Uh, when I first started my channel, I did do a video about how I edit my pictures using Facetune. So if you guys are interested, check that out. iMovie is how I edit my videos. InstaSize is just to resize some pictures before posting them. Photos app. Planoly is how I plan my Instagram. Um, so to see different pictures and how they will look with my Instagram feed. Twitch, I have a Twitch account. Um, it's also Brunette Princess, but I have not been on like ever in my life so i'm not even really sure how to use it but if you guys want me to do some like live streaming let me know um i would be really really happy to do it i actually did um a live tiktok not too long ago and i loved it and i got a lot of subscribers from it so shout out to those that i met on tiktok live uh youtube studio is obviously for my youtube channel Productivity, I have AdSense for YouTube payment. Calendar, I put my entire life in my calendar. Contacts, files, Gmail, that is my Gmail account for my YouTube channel. So if you wanna send me an email, you can just click the link in my description or on my Instagram. It's brunetteprincessak at gmail.com. Keynote, I never used. Um, mail, obviously for my other emails. Notes, I write everything in my notes. I write my video ideas. I write um, some lists in there. I just do so many things in notes. Numbers comes with the phone, pages as well. Profiliates is for my popo. Reminders, I put a lot of things in my reminders. Shortcuts, UPS is when I'm obviously expecting some deliveries. Widget Smith, I've also talked about in my video about my iOS 14 setup of my phone and Zoom. Uh, entertainment, I have Helix TV. So this is the TV part I was talking to you guys about. Hot 99 is a radio station in my area that I listen to. iTunes Store, music, Netflix, obviously, <laughs> podcasts. Um, I just started going into the podcast app. So if you guys have any recommendation of good podcasts based on like my interests that you guys, you know, are starting to get to know, then definitely leave them down below because I am obsessed with listening to podcasts now that I started. I get it. <laughs> uh, scene is for the movies. Shazam, obviously. Spotify, I don't really use since I have Apple Music subscription, but I still kind of go on here and there. Apple TV and obviously YouTube. If you are watching this video, you're on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. <laughs> um, next category is shopping. I have a lot of things in here. So obviously Amazon, Apple Store, Checkout 51 I've talked about in my video about how to make money um, while shopping. And I have a discount code for you guys in my description. So Checkout 51 is a grocery app. You buy groceries and if your item is on the list that they provide, you actually get cash back and I have a check in the mail coming right now. It's for $21. So it doesn't take much. You can accumulate money very, very quickly. Then they just send you a check in the mail. So it's super, super fun. Uh, everybody buys groceries anyway, so why not get money back for it? Dynamite is the store. Etsy for some homemade gifts. Uh, Flip is also, I've talked about in my latest video about my grocery haul and how I do my groceries. So this is for my grocery list. Groupon, honey for some coupons. Keyring is where you can save your cards so that you don't have to bring them all in the store. So let's say you have like a membership card, you can put that in there. Kijiji, obviously. Uh, Michael's Crafts, PC Optimum is for my Optimum points, PetSmart because of this guy, <laughs> uh, Poshmark, you guys can follow me on Poshmark, it's where I sell all of my old 
um, clothes and accessories and jewelry. And I have a few clutch purses in here. I have some sunglasses. And some of them are actually brand new. I have the tags on them. They just didn't fit as expected on my body. And I do write how they fit as well. Like if it says medium, but if it says a large, I do write that down so you guys know ahead of time. And then I have Rakuten. So I talked about this in my how to make money while shopping video. So it is basically an app where you shop through it and then you get cash back on your purchases. Receipt Hog, you basically do the same thing as Checkout 51. You scan your receipt and you get cash back. Sephora, I think we all know what that is. Shein, I actually just heard that it was Shein, like Shein, like she's Shein style. <laughs> so I don't know if it's Shein or Shein um, or shine i don't know but this app is obviously for some clothes uh shop is when i'm waiting for a product and i can track it through that app spc card is the student price card for some discounts at different stores so if you are a student and you have a valid student id definitely get the spc app you can save money on so many different stores triangle is for canadian tire if you're canadian you know walmart obviously and wayfair some online shopping Next, I have food and drinks. So this is a restaurant in my area. So it's my membership card. Domino's, DoorDash, Gabriel Pizza, McDonald's. Very self-explanatory. Open Table is an app where you can make a reservation to a restaurant through the app. Um, and it'll tell you how many people and the busy times and all that good stuff. SAQ is an alcohol store in my province. Um, I skip the dishes, obviously. I do have a very nice discount code for you guys. If you sign up and you make your first order, you get $5 off. It's in my description, so definitely treat yourself. Starbucks, Tim Hortons, if you're Canadian, you know. Uber Eats and Vivino is a wine app, so you can scan a bottle and see what people think about the wine and reviews and ratings. Looking to buy wine, but you don't know a lot about it, it's a really, really good app for gift finding. The next category is health and fitness. So in here, I actually just got myself a scale that connects Bluetooth wise to this health app. So it's called Body Monitor. Um, I got it at Canadian Tire if you guys are interested. And it basically just tells you all the different categories of things on your body. So like the BMI, um, the percentage of different things, even like your hydration. It's very, very in-depth. So if you guys are interested, you can download this app once you get the scale. Fastic is my intermittent fasting app. I have a whole video explaining to you guys about my intermittent fasting and tips and tricks. Fit to Flaunt, if you're looking to get into pole fitness, I just downloaded this app. Check her out on Instagram. She's very, very in-depth. Um, this is a workout app, and it's just amazing. Fitness is what I use on my Apple Watch to track my steps and my health things. Fit On is another workout app that I use. I really, really like um, and it's very, very in-depth. It goes in different beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels, and you can choose your instructor, and it's completely free, which I really like. A lot of fitness apps you have to pay for, but this one is completely free. Flow, if you know, you know. <laughs> health app is obviously where all of my health data goes into, and even like my pillow app, so my sleeping app, and my fitness, everything just kind of goes into this, so I can check everything all in one place, so I really like that. Jean Coutu is a pharmacy in my area. My chart is when I got my COVID results. Um, you guys saw that video last year. So a year ago, I did have this virus. <laughs> so I have a whole video telling you guys about my experience. So it's very in-depth. If you're interested, check it out. Optimity is another app that you can collect some points. So check it out if you're interested. And a pillow is my sleep tracking app. So I use it with my Apple Watch and it tracks my sleep. In travel, I have the Maps app that comes with the phone. I don't like Google Maps. I really, really prefer this one. Um, Uber, obviously. I have a discount code for you guys in my description box as well. Petro is a gas station in my area. And this is the pay station parking so if you park downtown or anywhere in the city pretty much has these things so you don't have to put change in the machine you can actually just go on the app and it connects with your credit card next category is other so in here i have amply this is another shopping app that you literally just link the cards that you shop the most with and when you buy things at different stores that they recommend 
you get money back. So it's really, really easy. I have a discount code for you guys in my description box. As I mentioned, I have so many in there. So check it out if you're interested. Ancestry, I took the Ancestry DNA DNA test kit. Um, and this is just all the data for that. Astrology is my horoscope. CAA is for my car. So if I break down anywhere, knock on wood, I call them or I put it through the app and they come and relieve me. <laughs> Drop is another app that you shop and you get some points back. So I have a discount code as well. Duolingo is to learn another language. Right now I am trying to learn Italian because I am half Italian. So I think that would be very useful for me. Google Home comes with the phone. Heads Up is the game that Ellen started. I think everybody knows the game Heads Up. iRobot is my Roomba, so my little vacuum at home. iTunes U comes with the phone. Jiffy is for a handyman, so you literally go into the app and you set up like what kind of renovation you want, at what time, what date, and they will send someone. Pinterest, you guys can follow me if you're interested. My name on here is Brunette Princess. So if you want to follow me and see all my pins, um, I put so many things in here, like especially in the food and fitness, all these recipes, home decor ideas. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. Wise, I have a camera in my house. So that is what that is for. Finance is... Um, basically just like my insurance and my money. So Desjardins is for my pet insurance. I have pet insurance for Gucci. This is my insurance. This is another insurance. This is for my car. Mint is my budget tracker. Sun Life is another insurance. PayPal, obviously PayPal. <laughs> it is in my description as well. TD and TD My Spend is both a bank. Wealth Simple Trade is a investment app and a wallet that comes with the phone and then in my information and reading i have this it's under the games category in the app store if i'm not mistaken but it's a police scanner um so it's just very interesting to listen to like the police you can listen to police scanners i think all over the world or just canada and us if i'm not mistaken but it's very interesting you can like hear different things that are going on so i don't know if you're nosy definitely download this app Ancestry as well, books, Apple News, Reddit, stocks, tips, translate, weather all come with the phone. And the one I use the most out of these is weather. I'm obsessed with the weather app. And that is it for my apps on my iPhone. So if you have any that you recommend me, please leave them in the comment section. I'm always looking to add more apps to my collection. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, definitely leave a like, comment below, whatever you want to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification. As I mentioned earlier in the video, all of my socials are linked down below. My Instagram is at Brunette Princess. I know I've mentioned it a million times, but I have so many discount codes. So if you're interested, check them out. They're all in my description. And as always, I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.